What do you mean by a resistance transducer? My name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question again. What do you mean by a resistance transducer? Well, let's find out. So first, let us consider a particular conductor like this. Let us consider a particular conductor like this. And now let the cross-sectional area of this conductor be A and the length of this particular conductor be L. And now let the resistivity of this particular conductor be rho. Then if this is the case, then the resistance of this particular conductor is given by the formula R is equal to rho into L by A, where rho is the resistivity of this particular conductor, L is the length of this particular conductor, and A is the area of cross-section of this particular conductor. So now that is the resistance of this particular conductor. Now we know for a fact that a transducer is a device that converts a physical quantity into an electric signal. This electric signal may be voltage, current or even resistance. So here in the case of a resistance transducer what happens is that if a particular physical quantity can change either one of these parameters, that is either the resistivity of this particular conductor or the length of this particular conductor or the area of cross-section of this particular conductor. So if a physical quantity can change either one of these parameters of this particular conductor, that means that the resistance of this particular conductor will change because the resistance depends on these three parameters, that is the resistivity, the length, and an area. So therefore, if a resistance transducer is used to measure a physical quantity and if that physical quantity can vary either one of these particular parameters, a change in resistance is obtained and therefore this particular change in resistance can be used for the purpose of measuring that particular physical quantity. As simple as that. That is simply what you refer to as a resistance transducer. As simple as that. That is, it is simply a transducer that measures a physical quantity and gives the output as a change in resistance. So here, at certain examples of resistance transducer may be one potentiometer. That is, in the case of a potentiometer, we have seen that as we change the length of the potentiometer, as we move the brush along this particular potentiometer, we are seeing a variation in the resistance. So a potentiometer is basically a resistance transducer because of the change in length. That is potentiometer. Now the second one is a resistance thermometer and the third one is a resistance strain gauge. So these are the three types of resistance transducer. As simple as that. So this thus is what you simply refer to as a resistance transducer. As simple as that. That is when a physical quantity can be measured as a change in resistance of a particular conductor then that transducer is referred to as a resistance transducer. This change in resistance is obtained because of the variation of either one of these parameters which is the resistivity length and the area of cross section. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a resistance transducer. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.